My name is Brian Abbott and I'm the founder of 310antiques.com. Rare coins, rare coin collections. So maybe, uh, maybe you inherited a rare coin collection, and it's a bit daunting. You you look at everything that's that's in front of you. Sometimes there's boxes and boxes and boxes of material, and and you don't know how to make heads or tails out of anything. And one concept to think about is the concept of old versus rare, um, and it and it crosses over into other fields of collecting as well, but. But certainly in most instances with most coin collections out there, uh, you're dealing with common things that are old. Um, common things, you, know, you don't see them every day, maybe you've never seen one before, and they're old, but they're not necessarily rare. So here is an example of something that is old and, and unusual, but, but, but not rare. Um, if you look in this tray, there are silver dollars uh, silver dollars from the 1880s. I don't have my glasses on, but these are silver dollars from the 1880s that are uh, that most of them are are brand new. They're uncirculated, um, which some people think means they've never been touched by people, but that's not true. Uncirculated just means they've never been circulated. Um, but that's an example. There's a Morgan silver dollar from the 1880s. Maybe you've never seen one before, and maybe because it's uncirculated from the 1880s, you think it's rare. It's not. Um, now, here's some Franklin half dollars from 1951 that are uncirculated, but they're not rare. Um, mildly collectible, maybe, but certainly not rare. Uh, the difference between this uncirculated specimen of an 1880s silver dollar and, and one that's circulated and has some wear on it might only be 10 or $15. And, and on the high end, out of all these uncirculated silver dollars here, there might, you know, maybe there's a coin that's worth 50 or $60 in the group. Maybe, probably not. That's not rare. Um, it's, it's not even really uncommon to somebody who deals in these things every day. So kind of take that approach when you're looking at a coin collection. If you've inherited and you're going through it, you're probably going to see a lot of old things, but you won't necessarily see things that are really rare.